Hi guys, welcome again. This video is to show you how to manage and record your lab device. So you can see like this is all your device. Okay, and then this is a product serial number and then this one is duplicate of the serial number. So you can see here is all your device and then here the serial number is here and then this one is duplicate serial number. The purpose of this, this column is for create the label in the QR code. Okay, so you can see from here. After we generate all this QR code of our device, then we will use our phone, the apps to scan all this device and then by checking all the device, is it still available in the lab or our stock? And then it will automatically generate an Excel, the file like this. So we can know what was the date, the time that we scan all this device. Then we can copy this device and then after that, we can check with our device list. Then we can know that which device is still available or not available in the lab. Okay, so let's start how to create the QR code like this. I will show you how to create. You just click on the add-on. So you need to find the QR code generator. You can go to the add-on. Search for the QR code generator. Okay, so this is the QR code generator that I use. Then you just install it and then they will use in the Google Sheet. So next, I will open the QR code generator. You can see the QR code generator looks like this. And then, this is the size of your QR code. The size of the QR code. And then, you want to save as PNG or save as document. I always prefer to save document so that we can print out all the QR code that we generate. So we need to tick on the second column. For my case, I would like to use the second column because the second column will display together with the QR code. So we can know this, like the serial number of this QR code of the device. Okay. So once you have this, and then the limitation of this apps is like you only have 20 quota, free quota per day. Okay. Next, after you select all this, then we will choose the column here. Okay, let's say I choose the one first column and then we click generate. They will have error because you need to choose like two cell in the row and then multiple value of the column. So because we tick on second column, that's why we need to highlight both. It's two column here. So we generate first will be the QR code, second will be the name of together with the QR code. So we click on generate. So this QR code generator is only available for 20 free quota per day. So they will every day will refresh 20. So now we will click on the generate. So they will automatically generate the QR code like this for us. So please wait. So you can see like increasing because we have six call six row here, six item. That's why they have six, they will create a six QR code. So they are reducing the QR code free quota here. So once it's done, we can go to open the document or to the folder. We just click on open document. You can see the QR code that generated is here. So it's something like this. So you can print this out and then label to the device. Future you want to check all the labs device, you can just use the phone to scan it. So now let's see the function of the apps. So first you go to your Google Play Store, you search for barcode to Excel. So you click on this, so you will need to download this app, barcode to Excel. Then after you download, you just open it. So here is like, I will show you how to use this. First you need to like create a new file. Let's say we have our lab one device okay so we not allowed to duplicate code otherwise when you scan the same item they will duplicate in the excel so we just press ok it's okay now so i will scan it one by one first we will scan the ps okay number two Okay, 
once we scan it, after we scan it, then you can open the file here on the top right hand side. You click on the file. Okay, so after we scan all the device, the bar, the QR code, then we can click on the Excel. Then we press OK. Then we can open it uh, on our Excel Google Sheet. Or we can just click on it and then we can just send to our Google Drive. So let's say I send to my Google Drive. Then we will go, go to our Google Drive to check this, the Excel sheet that we upload. So we can see from here, okay, this one is the lab one device barcode. Then we can duplicate it. Okay, so you can check it. So you can see like they have the time and the code. Then you can copy all and then check with the item that you scan. So what's the item, which item is missing. You can slot it and then you can check it one by one. Okay, so this is very useful for you to check if you have a lot of stock in your a lot of device or you want to check your stock. Yeah, you can use this method. Just scan and then you can compare with the original Excel sheet. This method is very useful and then easy to use. So in the future, you just scan any device that you label with the QR code. Then after you scan it, then you can check back with the original device list. So it's very easy for you to know where is your item status. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you like this video, please like it and remember to subscribe my channel.